Hi everybody, Ken Reynolds, back with you again. I'm your friend in the furnace business, and I'd like to really be able to prove that to you today by talking to the people that make capital equipment purchasing decisions. Furnaces are getting pretty pricey these days. Alloy metals are expensive, and of course labor and technology in general. But uh, furnaces don't have to always be replaced. It's sometimes the cost-benefit analysis gets done and it turns out that by, say, replacing the temperature control system on the furnace, you might extend its useful life for another 10 years. And, uh, and that's a good way that you can combat the planned obsolescence that some of the furnace manufacturers have had in mind for the last, oh, say, 20 years or so. Let's take a look at Sierra Therm. I made a note of the fact they were established in June of 1991 because well, that's when Watkins Johnson decided to go out of business, and I lost a job, and uh, seven other guys lost jobs as well that day. They went on and founded a company and uh, developed most of the control systems that they needed for their brand of furnaces, pretty much developed themselves in-house. And uh, I think they, they, for the most part, certainly did a fine job. Sierra Therm Furnaces control well. Um, 91 is now 21 years ago. It's uh, entirely possible that some of their systems they have declared obsolete. And uh, I have heard something to that effect around the industry. But uh, my point is, if you have a Sierra Therm furnace, the control system isn't working, if their in-house device solution is very expensive, or if they say a new furnace is what you need, we have a different, a different idea for you. We say, why not change the controls, not the furnace? We've got systems that can do that. Let me show you a few of them. And uh, if you've got any questions or there's anything else we can do, give us a call. Thank you.